This is a quick short blurb about the Robotus TurtleBot 3 and we're going to connect this to ARC, um, use the LiDAR, use the servos and be able to remote control it, add it to Exosphere, whatever we wish. So in ARC, um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to connect to the COM port of the um, OpenCM, is what the circuit board it uses, one of these, and it also uses these servos which are um, the XH430 Dynamaxel servos. So we're going to connect to those. So we'll configure our uh, port here for COM8. We'll connect to that. And then we'll go to Project, Add. And we're going to add in here the under the Servo tab, the Dynamaxel driver. There we go. And now let's configure this. So push on here. Now, it, the first thing you'll notice here is it says check the manual for the UART that you should use. So if we were to click on the manual for this with a little question mark here, you're going to see that the different types of controllers that can be connected to this robot skill. But you'll see at the bottom here, um, where is it? Right here on the OpenCR use you were at number two. So that's what we want to do. So we'll go back into this and configure it and select you were at number two. Now I do know that the baud rate already for these servos is set for 1 million. You want to check that. I don't know what the IDs are. So let's go into utilities here and let's push the scan and find button. So it's going to scan all of the devices that are connected to the open CR. And you can see here that we have ID one and ID two. So those are our two servos. So we'll go back to settings and we're going to turn on V1 and we'll select the appropriate servo. We want it to be in wheeled mode, so we'll select that as well. And then V2, we'll do the same. Wheeled mode. Okay, so now you can see we've initialized it and we can start controlling the robot. So let's first go to add and let's add a way for the robot to actually move. In this case, we're going to use a movement panel a continuous servo movement panel. It's because these these uh, servos are set up now to run like, well, 360 degree servos essentially. So here's the movement panel here. So we'll configure this. And we're gonna set the left wheel to be V1. And I don't really know. Well, we're just guessing at this point. <laughs> it's the way it is. And if it's backwards, you know, we can just change it. Now I could of course use these slide dials for speed and hit these buttons. But I prefer to go to add navigation and there's a movement joystick. I prefer to use this. You'll see why. See, it's a nice little joystick. So if I move this now, the robot should start moving. Let's take a look. Okay, so I'm going to move and turn, make it turn to the forward right. So let's see if it does that. No, it's going backwards. So that says to me that the movement panel values here are reversed. So this 180 should be a 1, and this 1 should be 180. And again, on this other wheel, we'll do the same. Make it 180 and 1. So 90 is going to be your stop position. Anything at 90, the wheels stop. Anything going above that on this particular wheel, it goes in reverse. Anything below 90 starts going forward. And you'll see here that the opposite is happening. So now if I make the robot move to the forward right, that is correct. There we go. Okay, so now we want to add the LiDAR into here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Add, Navigation, and the LiDAR that it uses is the Hitachi LG LDS. So we're going to click on that and install it. Here's a LiDAR here. Now, the COM port's not being detected, and that is because on this particular robot, the type of um, USB to TTL adapter that's being used it doesn't have a default driver in Windows. So let's take a look on the device manager, and we're going to see 
There it is. We'll see a little exclamation mark next to it. So we can get that easily. So let's just go to the Hitachi LDS and click on the question mark and say yes. And it's going to bring it to us to the Synthium website. And if we scroll down here, and you should be reading all this anyway, it's important to read. Here we go. The Robotis USB or converter needs this particular driver. So let's download it. And we'll uncompress it. And then back in our device manager here, let's just right click and say update drivers. And we're going to browse our computer and we're going to select our downloads folder. Not documents, downloads, there it is. And we'll click next. It's going to automatically find the driver and install it. There we go. So now it's on com number nine. That's the, the right port. So we don't see it in the list here. So let's click on this little refresh button and COM9 shows up and let's press start. And there the LiDAR started spinning and we can start seeing that LiDAR data. So if we wanted to do some navigation, for example, with um, a few different navigation systems, we can use the navigator. There's a SLAM system in here as well, but we're not gonna cover that today. Right now we just have a working robot. Now, because we can go into detail later about this robot having um, a computer on board and we can add cameras to it and we can make the robot start tracking objects and stuff. Uh, we'll add that as a later video. So this is getting up and running with the TurtleBot 3 in ARC.